This is my life now and forever. Well, hello everyone. It's me, Christine, again. And you guys know I love cats. I have two of them, Menchi and Siler. And I love my cats more than people. That would totally be my dating profile if Ben ever leaves me. <laughs> Listen, I don't want Ben to put any babies in me, okay? I just want to spend my life surrounded by cats. At home, at work, at the cafe. I even wear my cats on my clothes. Check out this new limited edition Menchi and Zyler on summer vacation merch. With this new merch, you too can express the crazy cat lady or cat man in you. The link to shop these new limited edition t-shirts is down below in the video description box. And a portion of the proceeds will be going to my local humane society because we love all the animals. Yay! Buy a shirt! Because you love cats. Or you just love my cats. Whatever. <laughs> Okay, it's time to go. <laughs> I love my children so dearly that I wish I could take them with me wherever I go. So today we're gonna test out a couple different cat traveling devices. We've got a leash and a harness, a cat bubble backpack, and a pet stroller. I can't wait to take my children out for a walk. But first, let me tell you the history of my children. My cats, Menchi and Zyler. I first got Zyler almost 11 years ago, when I myself was a baby in university, also trying to understand this world. Zyler was a handsome young fellow with a confident kitty personality. What the hell are these nails? I am disgusting. At the time, I was a second year university student living with multiple roommates and kept Zyler's litter box in my room. If you think that's dirty, well then you should have seen the rest of the house living with so many teenage boys. Zyler fit right into the undergrad party scene and instantly became a beer drinking asshole. Just kidding, I wouldn't let my roommates give my cat alcohol, but they did teach him how to dance. We used to have so many house parties I had to put a sign on the door so I wouldn't lose my cat. Eventually we grew out of that party life and Zyler moved with me to three more different places I called temporary student home until we finally moved into a place of our own without roommates into my condo, which was where I eventually began making nail art tutorials. Since the condo was my first actual real home as an adult, I wanted to take care of it, so I tried to potty train Zyler. But it was already too late, he had already been corrupted by drunk university boys during his youth. He did, however, still always get the chicks. Yeah. Not long after, I met Ben. And then not that long after that, we got Menchi together, almost six years ago today. We picked her out through a Humane Society adoption program and instantly fell in love. She had a tiny face and big ears, and we called her our little rat baby. I'm sorry, Menchi, but you really did look like a rat. We kept her in a separate room from Zyler for two whole weeks to make her feel safe before introducing the two of them. These are some pics of their first meeting. She was a brave little girl, and Zyler was pretty well behaved at first, but then things got R-rated, so we had to give them a timeout. <laughs> Menchi instantly became the baby of the two kids, amazed and afraid of literally everything. She was also lacking in the smart department compared to Zyler. Overall, the two of them got along pretty well when Zyler wasn't trying to eat her. Just over a year ago, the whole family made the move to our current home, and both kids have adjusted very well. They continue to live happy kitten lives smothered by their parents. So you see, I love my children dearly, and I wish I could take them wherever I go. So let's go test out these three devices and hope that the cats cooperate. Children! First off, we did introduce the traveling devices to the cats last night. Let them smell the new objects, do a little try-on haul. We took the bubble cat backpack for a quick spin and just let them get a general feel for their new toys before fully taking the plunge today. It's always important to give your pet some time to warm up to new things. Menchi didn't seem to understand that she could, in fact, move in the harness. She did realize, however, that she could easily fall over. Menchi. Oh. We strategically threw some treats in the stroller to get them wanting to jump inside. 
Of course, they ended up fighting over it, so we had to call it a night. <laughs> it's harness time. I bought these harnesses off Amazon. I'll put links down below for all these products if you're interested. And I find these harnesses are better than other ones I've tried because they really securely hold the cat without the risk of them doing some flexible escape movements and getting out. I've had these ones for years. I used to take Xyler out on walks with his on. Who remembers this video and my fabulous hollow teeth? Minchi, you wanna go outside? You wanna go exploring like Dora? As soon as I put the vest on Menchi, again, she forgot how to move. Instead, she just kinda stands there. Okay, ready, go. Come this way. Or falls over. Oh, <laughs> Benji, that was a great trick. I'll move you, I'll help you out, okay? Here we go. Let's practice walking. Ready, go, and go, and go, mush. I tried to encourage her, but yeah, maybe she isn't a dog after Whoa. all. <laughs> it's not that the vest was on too tight or anything. She had plenty of breathing room. I think she's just not that good at adapting to new situations. Kind of like me. Do you just want to sit there and look pretty? She's an Instagram model, like what can I say? <laughs> it was pretty clear there was no way she was going to walk outside with that vest and a leash on if she could barely walk inside. But she did teach me some pretty cool dance moves, so there's that. Do the menchie. I'm sorry, sweetie, you're confused. You don't know that you can move. Freedom! All right, Tyler. It's your turn. I got the harness on Zyler, no problem. Just had to make sure I adjusted it for his thick underbelly. And then it was into the wild. You wanna go outside? You wanna go for a W-A-L-K. Deck, no problem. Stairs, he's got him. Hot interlock, he was prepared to walk. Grass, distraction. Don't eat that. <laughs> I don't want no green in the litter box, okay? Hey, what did I say? Don't eat that. No, <laughs> shit. Good thing we don't have any nice flowers. <laughs> Zyler was a very brave grass hunting soldier, willing and ready to explore the backyard in between snacks of grass. He pretty quickly became king of all backyards. I also had a good time. Menchi watched her brave brother from outside the window, but she was still too scared to enter the outside world. You don't need sunscreen lotion because you're a cat. Zyler loved it outside so much I basically had to drag him back inside. But you know, he had homework to do. Zyler! He's like, Mom, don't make me go. Inside the house. You're such a good boy. Did you know that Zyler is also a circus cat? Right in the mouth. Good boy. Benji, can you do that? <laughs> he took it from you. You deserve one too, just because you're so beautiful. You guys are getting so spoiled today. Remember, maybe one day when you have kids, always reward your children for good behavior. Savage. All right, I think we're gonna take a bit of a break. We're gonna have lunch and then we'll come back. So Menchi didn't really like the harness. Maybe she'll enjoy riding around in a backpack. I saw these pet backpacks on Amazon that look like astronaut suits for cats and instantly knew we had to try this. It's like a knapsack, but there's ventilation holes on every side and a little flat cushy pad at the bottom. I figured Menchi would prefer this to the leash because she actually likes it when we carry her around in our arms. And we all know she likes to sit on Ben's shoulders every time we have dinner. We're gonna put you in a backpack and I'm gonna take you to school. Getting her to stay in the backpack Pack before I had a chance to zip it up was a little tricky. Oh, oh, <laughs> there you go. You're in, you're in. <laughs> I really need two people. But Ben helped me out. He's <laughs> so cute. But it's kind of like really sad at the same time because she's like trapped in a bubble. Must be careful because we've got precious cargo. Ready, Mench? What's a cat in the hat? 
Never heard of that. I got a cat in my backpack. It's a new life hack. Hi ho, hi ho. It's off to work we go. It was fun walking around with her on my back. She doesn't weigh much either, so it didn't feel much more than a couple textbooks. She keeps kind of just like hunching to the bottom of it mostly. Yeah, she finds like that there's these <laughs> Vented spots. But even though it was well ventilated enough, I think she was getting kind of anxious in there, so it was time to let the cat out of the bag. All right, you want to come out, Menchi? Menchi, you want to? <laughs> you want to come out? Oh, hey. <laughs> she realized she. <laughs> and then it was time for another break. Just like child actors, you have to give them a sufficient amount of breaks during the day while filming. Not only is it the humane thing to do, but it's the law! I think. I mean, I don't know, but it should be a law. Now please enjoy this ASMR of Xyler licking water from his dish. You really want to go outside again? <laughs> you truly are a dog. What's that? You want to go to Starbucks and get tea for me? So we gave Xyler a turn in the backpack and went to get the tea. The backpack definitely seemed pretty secure on the go. Like there was no way once inside that he was getting out. So that's good because safety. The backpack looked so stylish that I don't even think the baristas noticed that my drink slave had a cat on his back. There were a couple people that wanted Xyler's photo. He is obviously so cool. famous. Thanks. <laughs> By the time we walked home, he seemed to settle into his new private limo service. I think he might have even taken a cat nap. We're home! Zyler, give us a review. Would you recommend this product to others? Alright, I think your brother's pooped, so what do you say we go for a stroll? And last, but definitely not least, it was time to test out the pet stroller. A fully decked out stroller with a mesh net enclosure, locking wheels, and even a cool undercarry basket. No, you don't like baskets? Who doesn't like baskets? Getting Menchi in was no problem. What a cute baby. Hi, sweetie. Even though there was a pretty secure feeling latch on the front, there was a couple gaps along the side that we had to be mindful of. Don't want any bean toes getting stuck now. And it was time to go for a stroll. the cutest baby at the park. Although Menchi generally gets frightened pretty easily, she actually seemed like she was okay in the stroller. I guess being in the sock-like canopy, she felt safe and she seemed comfortable as long as she could see that Ben or I were still there. Uh-oh. I did catch her scoping out the dogs though, young lady. Not gonna lie, pushing around the stroller made me feel like a mom. All the other ladies here are jealous that my baby is more beautiful than their baby. <laughs> I was thoroughly enjoying being a stay-at-home cat mom. Where do you want to go next? We can go anywhere. Mench phone home? Alright Mench, home sweet home. Woo! <laughs> you okay? You gotta go to the potty? Well, that was fun for me and hopefully the cats too. <laughs> they did good though. I'm honestly so proud of them. I wouldn't want to put them through much more than what we did today because even though they seem to handle it okay, it's a lot for cats that are used to staying inside the house. <laughs> it's a lot of stimulation. In fact, they deserve some treats. Even more treats than we've already given them today. <laughs> Children! Woohoo! Hey, you want to get back in your stroller? <laughs> Just kidding. Her agent called. She said she's done for the day. Yeah. <laughs> give me something, give me something.
He's like, Mom, where's my cut? Am I getting 50% of the revenue of this video? No, you have to split it with your sister. I think maybe we'll take Xyler out on the leash again. I'm not sure about Menchi. She's a little shy for this world. Maybe though, we could make you some friends. If I put you in the stroller, we could go to a playground and I could make friends with the other mommies. Actually, I don't like the sounds of that. Let's not do that. Let's not go see any people. I think that all animals have different levels of patience and tolerance for these kinds of things. And I think mine are pretty good relative to most cats. Like Xyler will put up with a lot. He'll go outside no problem. Menchi, she's shy, but she's still okay with it. And it doesn't stress them out that much. Not all animals are the same. So you really have to take into consideration your animal's temperament. And you know, you don't want to stress them out. That's what's important here. So if you want to put your cat in a backpack, just make sure that it's a cat that is okay with being in a backpack. And even then, I probably wouldn't leave your cats in that backpack because I'm unsure about it. <laughs> what do you think, Zyler? You don't want to live life in a bubble. No, you don't. <laughs> you know bubble boy. You just got a bubble butt. People have noticed that Zyler is thick. It's okay, don't listen to them. They're online trolls. And don't forget, if you wanted to help support a good cause for animals, you can find these shirts down at the link below in the video description box. And they are limited edition, so they won't be around forever. Minchie and Zyler would say thank you for your support, but they're kind of tired, so they're not in the mood to talk anymore. All right, everybody. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see y'all later. Bye!